Hey, extraterrestrials. Baby, let me tell you something. I am not from Earth. And actually, I don't think anybody's really from Earth. It's rather a game, rather an experiment. And some of us have spent like multiple lives on Earth. I'm not really an Earth soul. I come from higher density places, higher frequency places, different dimensions. I know it. I remember. <laughs> I have met many beings in the astrals and even here, there with me here, they're in different dimensions and I'm one of them. They're my family, they're my friends. I have had such meaningful, meaningful moments that have revealed to me more about my origins or where I, I've been like before this life or my energy, what it's like. And I just want to say this thing. ETs are here. I am an ET. You call them like aliens, like, oh, when are we gonna have like this alien contact? They're already here. They're just in a different dimension. You can channel them. I'm channeling them. You can have contact yourself if you choose to. But the thing is, like I, I said before, Earth is free will place. It means that if you choose to have an experience where there is, there are no other dimensions. There are no other realms or other beings in different dimensions, then you shall have that experience and that shall be respected. The universe gives you just an experience like that. If you choose to lead a rather interdimensional life, you can. You have the potential, you are a multi-dimensional being. What we collectively are going through right now is spiritual awakening, I could say which basically means that you awaken to the other realms like you realize that it's not just a physical one like the physical one is manifested energy and there is so much beyond this like just five senses and you have more senses like doo -doo. <laughs> you know you do deep down but you might have let yourself forget about it in order to have the experience that you have had like for example if you are living in the mind and your whole reality is based on what you've been taught what you've read in books you have kind of given your power away because you have given up your inner knowing you have like you you started to believe that you don't know yourself you need to know from them which is cool it's an experience it's it's cool to like learn with the rational mind it's fun it's interesting to have like this logical thinking but it's not your true guide it doesn't really like give you true answers it doesn't give you this fulfillment or true inner knowing which you can get when you listen to your heart when you ask your intuition, when you channel those things around you. If you choose to, if you open yourself up to that, like up to those realms, like they are still with you, but you might be unconscious of them. And because you're unconscious of them, you don't see how they are helping you. You don't see the connection. And it's okay. My point here is that you are multidimensional, that you can have alien contact yourself. You can channel beings, you can, you can travel the astrals, you can go meet your family if you choose to. Now, from where I'm talking, it's my own experience. We are just in Earth school, like this earthly plane. It's like a really, really tiny little place of our galaxy, of our universe, but still we're going through a spiritual awakening which means that we're rising up to a higher dimension like we have been so low we've been so low, this earth has been such a low vibe, low density place but we're getting higher and I'm here to help with this higher awareness 
There are so many of us souls, like star seeds, light workers. We're here to remind you of what you already know. So I'm not a teacher, I'm not telling you this is how things are. I'm just sharing vibrations. So when you are in a certain vibration, you will access the knowledge that's out there, that's, that matches that vibration. You will access anything you need to access. So in other words, it's all vibrational. <laughs> It's all vibration. You, your existence, everything. If you attract non-physical entities, you attract those entities that match the vibration you are at. Watch your vibrations. And when you are in a high vibration, all the other realms, if you choose so, they will open up to you. And you will get contact with aliens. And you will recognize other humans that come from the same soul group, for example, that that are that you have shared past lives other lifetimes like elsewhere with you will recognize them and you will like your whole reality will change and you will just be so much more free and so much more yourself less of that low density ego mindset survival mode that's an old game that's an old life that's a previous life New Earth is all about being open, being in the heart center, being conscious and aware of the multidimensionality of this universe, of the other realms, of the fact that we are just ETs, <laughs> pretty much all of us, having a human experience. We are in these bodies learning this in this earth school and it's just earth it's just earth just a physical plane like i mean to me right now on these days when i've opened myself up to this multi-dimensionality so much this earth thing is kind of like a choke it, it's just it's so silly it's so slow and heavy and funny but but i love it because it's an experience to be here. I love this body so much. I love this existence so much. So much, baby. I feel so privileged to be on this plane, to be in this dimension. It's so cool because it's something so unusual for me, so strange for me. You don't know how many times I'm just looking at my hands, I'm looking at my body, I'm just walking there and I'm like, I could scream because it's crazy so weird it's so funny and ridiculous but at the same time all this knowingness flows through me all this information knowledge just is there and I access it and I know exactly why I'm here and you do too you know exactly why you are here when you just open yourself up to that knowledge when you let yourself access that when you are more connected to your higher self and in alignment with your self, with your truth, with your life path. That's when you are in the flow, when you can do what you wish to do. It can be blissful on earth as well. I am here to help bring home on earth. We don't need that anymore, that suffering, whatever, blindness. That's old, that's, that's past life. That was, that's cool but it's over the higher vibrational reality on earth it's possible the reality where we all are aware of who we truly are enjoy all these experiences all this uniqueness as humans like it's so crazy and funny and you can enjoy your ego when you like when you're co-working with your ego but if you completely and fully think that your ego is your only source of power and acceptance and everything, you, you're just, you may be a bit lost, you know? And you may not want to live a life like that because you will never be satiated, you will never be truly happy. You will be truly happy when you're in alignment with your life path. You will be truly happy when you feel the connection with your higher self to stay true to you you have the potential you are multi-dimensional you are an ET having a human experience you 
you came here because you wanted to learn, you wanted to help, you wanted to do what's your life purpose and you can access that purpose in higher vibrations when you channel your higher self you you know it, you instantly know it or you can go to the astrals and ask your guides, ask yourself, access the knowledge that you had before birth especially in the astrals, it's easy because you were in the astrals before you were born allow yourself to be you you have an answer to everything always and if you tune into like this oneness energy like you realize you you don't even have the question anymore because you 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 feel like you're so above it you're so beyond it you feel like you are just everything why would you have like a question about something but it's a, it's like everything depends on your perspective everything is right from a certain perspective so depending on what kind of experience you want to have you will choose different perspectives you will vibrate with different perspectives you will experience different realities and they're all correct from that certain perspective from that certain vibration that's and they're all acceptable and fine and okay for this is a school, this is where we learn, this is a like a stage, you know, for where we all play our parts and experience the joy of playing that role whether or not we feel joyful about it. Like you feel joyful when you are in alignment. Like if you don't know whether or not you are on your like life path, what you plan before life. Ask yourself, are you joyful? Are you living that kind of life that brings you fulfillment and bliss? If not, then you're probably not exactly on the life path you would want to be. But again, it's more vibrational than like physical. Everything is energy and when you change your vibration, you change your external reality. Isn't it so cool to be on Earth? It's so cool. I'm so grateful I can be right here right now talking to you. Thank you. Thank you for your time and I wish you all the best. I sent you love. I sent you vibrations, high vibrations. Go connect to your higher self, baby. And see you later in another video. Go meditate, baby. Take some time and breathe.